for future generations, my kids, we have to actually start preparing our moms in in the like before they even get pregnant yes. to support moms and then teach them how to breastfeed and use breastfeeding as the initial orthodontic treatment, as the initial immune boost, mm -hmm. as the initial training for ma nose breathing. Because of a lot of guys out there have crooked teeth and breathing through their mouth. Yes. So future it, should be there is no more dental repair, but this will take time. And that's the interesting thing because it really does need to start with the children at a very young age. Meanwhile, when you take a child to a conventional dentist, you get all the the wrong type of information a lot of times where it is more listerine, more this, let's do fluoride on them already. Let's, you know, this. And, and it already starts to set up a future that's going to be hard to be healthy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, my kids. Yes, yes, yes. But again, the problem also, obviously, not to blame the dentist, um, is our lifestyle. It's just so yes. normal that we feed our kids sugar, processed foods. I think it's in, the, in Germany, it's maybe, no, I think it's the same already as in the US. Like processed foods are ruling, fast foods are actually more mm -hmm. cheaper. Kids are drinking juices. Kids seem to be not even, par uh, not even humans. They're allowed to do everything. Obviously, for me, I'm like, or you, our 80s or 90s pantry probably looked the same. But actually, to be honest, my parents didn't know better. There was no research. They actually thought sugar is probably healthier than fats because that's what uh, mm, that's was right. the agenda in the 80s, right? So I get it. But I have kids and I know better. So obviously, it needs to be the responsibility of the dentist to learn about these things and teach this to their patients. But then also, obviously, patients can come in like, yeah, whatever, and then mm -hmm. don't brush. So this is the, the difficulty. So a lot of dentists just work with the general population who have never heard about all these things, and they're just like, uh, whatever, I just eat my fruit juice, I drink my fruit juice again and eat the cereals in the morning and I don't care. And maybe, uh, what did you say I should brush once a day? Okay, I'll do that. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, See? We, we, we need to change that all around. And yes, <laughs> yes it's, and it's like a... a parental change it is a dental change like there, there's a lot of change that has to happen for this to to really work but but the yeah. end result is like optimal health that's the greatest result we could have yeah but you know that health is uh, is defined as absence of disease and we just have to first under make people understand especially also my colleagues that optimal health is even existing yes. and that optimal health is an investment and this is obviously where you and me are in that bubble for years yeah. Because we optimize everything. And obviously, an optimized person would never use any toxic in their mouth. They understand straight away. So, yes. And this is also part of that online curriculum or co co uh, is that change is what we need. But also, at the same time, what is the biggest fear of all humans out there? Change. It's always, yes, they're afraid <laughs> of change. Then I'm coming in, changing the whole dentistry game. I'm trying to. That's why you're so damn scary, Dr. Doe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But luckily, no. like, when I wrote the book, like this is when like the most arrows flew, flew in my like arrows were in yeah, my back yeah. from colleagues. But luckily, oh, yeah. because I just I think because I went so let's say at least consistent with all, whatever I did and yeah never changed the way. Now finally, it's moving towards the right direction. I think you see that too. Like every there is a little bit of a shift. People are thinking more about their health. They want to invest a little bit. So now we have to be there. Because the future pay out like the general dental patient, the general dentistry. I had a lot of talks with, with dentists the last couple of years um, before these um, course, because I'm in that bubble. All my patients fly in. It's more like they're fans. They're preparing mm -hmm. for this. This is a total. And I forgot about how the real dentist lives. Mm -hmm. The real dentist has to see like a ton of patients a day, okay. has no time for them, has really pushed numbers to make ends meet. And then has to like negotiate prices and all these things. So, and also on top of that, no one likes to go to the dentist. So you treat people that don't want to see you with the stuff they don't want to have and they have to sell them on it. Mm -hmm. So therefore we have to change how people see dentists. That's why the future dentist is um, the real bio dentist who um, knows how to optimize. And then the patients, they are coming, they appreciate it. Like when you clinic. So, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's definitely a change in your mentality, sometimes in belief systems that is very ingrained, and that takes time. And we understand that, and that goes through education. That goes through yeah. meeting them where they are and educating them slowly about these things. Like, why yes. would you use fluoride? Let's really break it down, like, and see. 
Like, I understand you've been told it's good, but did you actually look into it and go beyond what you were told? And, and that starts to at least open the doors. Once you have awareness, you could start to make changes from there. But if you don't even have awareness and you're just like, fluoride's good, I've never heard different. And then you start <laughs> to hear people like you and be like, wait a second. Yeah, maybe it's not so good. And then they... they then there's the caption saying like fear mongering. This is oh like, yeah 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 anti science like, fear mongering like this and that yeah. I mean people again that's where people don't want to change and get like kind of upset because they say yeah. don't change. I don't want to change. It's easier yeah, please, this way. Please, uh, don't do it. Don't say it, Doctor. Even though maybe it's correct.